Welcome to the Curious Head channel. Here you will find a variety of interesting facts and amazing stories on a variety of topics. Subscribe now so you don't miss any updates. Thomas Wettiers, also known as Thomas Wadhouse, lived in Yorkshire, Northern England during the 18th century and holds an unbeaten record to this day. He had the world's largest nose, measuring approximately 19 centimeters in length according to the Guinness World Records. Born in 1730, Thomas Wettiers drew attention wherever he went due to his unusual appearance. This distinctive feature contributed to his becoming a celebrity, as evidenced by publications from that period. As a supposed member of a freak show, the artist was the frequent subject of articles in newspapers and magazines, with some claiming that he appeared to have intellectual disabilities. He also appeared in a famous 19th century book that discussed rare and strange medical conditions. Most publications treated him with irony. If noses were uniformly accurate in representing an individual's importance, this worthy should have accumulated all the money in Threadneedle Street and conquered all of Europe, wrote The Strand magazine in 1896 about Wadhouse. Mysterious Life Despite becoming famous in the mid-18th century, the man with the world's largest nose left few traces due to the lack of official records about his life, it is not known how he felt about the size of his organ or whether he actually worked as a circus performer, for example. As there is also no image to prove the actual size of his nose, some people are skeptical of the measurements mentioned in publications from that time. Based on the reports, a wax statue of Wadhouse was created and is on display at the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. Another mystery concerns the causes of the long nose that aroused so much curiosity among the British population. Some researchers say that the anomaly is the result of an unknown disease, which also affected the development of his intellect when he was still a child. There is also a suspicion that the artist was born from a sexual relationship between siblings, a genetic mix that could be the cause of the facial deformity, as mentioned in some records. He died in the early 1780s in Yorkshire when he was between 50 and 52 years old. And nowadays? To this day, no one has surpassed the record for the world's longest nose, a title still held by Thomas Wadhouse. The most recent records show that it is even difficult to come close to the British man's measurements. According to Guinness, the longest nose of a living person belongs to Mehmet Oziurek, measuring 8.8 .8 centimeters, which is about 10 centimeters less than Wettier's. The Turkish man is happy with his appearance and has ruled out any surgical intervention to modify it. I hope you enjoyed this fun fact about Thomas Wadhouse and his amazing nose. Don't forget to leave your comment below and share. Thanks for watching and until the next video.